Hey guys, it's Damien from Marketing Food Online, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can actually start a meat jerky business making some of this amazing stuff with your own brand, but an investment of only $2,000 or less. And I'm gonna explain how that works right now. Damien, again, how are you guys doing? I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step process on how you can actually get up and running a food business, a food business like Meat Jerky. This is a brand that I found at the store, but you can create your own brand with a private label co-packing company. And I'm gonna show you on the back here, I know you can't see it very well, but those are my talking points. I'm gonna to explain to you exactly how this works. And if you don't have a lot of money to invest in a food business, but you have a couple grand, I'm gonna to explain to you how you can literally turn a $2,000 or even less into a full-blown business, but you do not have to make anything, and you can even get the co-packer or private label company to ship it to your distributor or to your customers. And I'm gonna explain how that works. So let me put this amazing bag down. All right, so on the back here, I've got some quick talking points. Let me scoot you in just a little bit. All right, so here's how it works. So if you've got a couple of grand, the basic first thing you gotta do is you need to incorporate yourself as a business. Incorporating yourself as a business, of course, varies by state, but it's normally you're gonna be about two, three hundred dollars, gonna be a couple hundred dollars into the incorporation process. Now, why would you need to be incorporated? Well, even though you're gonna have a company actually make this for you, you're going to need to be incorporated as a business if you're looking to do business with retailers, uh, food wholesalers, or distributors, which I'll get into that on this list right here on how to circulate and get your food product out there. There's going to be a couple different variations. Some of them will cost you money, and some of them won't necessarily cost you money as far as getting a relationship started with a food distributor, um, and I'll explain how that works as well. So the first thing you want to do is incorporate yourself. You want to create a business. You want to have a name. You need to have some type of uh, a brand, some type of name for your product, okay? You can't just have a co-packer make it for you and then some random person try to ship it to a retailer and then you think you're gonna make money. That's not how it works. Okay, so here's how it works. So I actually have put together a sheet. It's gonna be a PDF listing. And this is something I'll have available on marketingfoodonline.com. It's got 80 co-packers listed. And that's gonna give you a huge variety of different meat jerky co-packers or meat co-packers. And you can check out that list as well as 20 questions. 20 questions that I put on there that are gonna help you get the conversation started with your co-packer. Questions that are really important about production time, turnaround time, et cetera, et cetera. Now, this video, I'm gonna to explain to you how this works. If you're looking to get the list, it's, take, it's taken me several months to actually put together a list of uh, meat jerky co-packers and private label companies. Check that list out. I'll have a link down in the description that you can uh, click onto that and go to the site and see if that's something you want to get into. That's going to give you a list specifically of contact information of all of these companies that offer these types of services. Now, let me get into explaining exactly how this works because I know there's a lot of you who want to get into a food business, but you're not really sure what type of food business to get into. Plus, you may be on a budget and you only have a couple grand or less to actually invest. So let me explain this, how this works. So number one, right off the top, minimum order. Many of these private label co-packing uh, beef jerky companies and, and turkey jerkies and all that kind of stuff, they actually have very low minimums. Uh, there's about, I think there's actually eight or nine of them in particular from that list that have very low minimums for you to buy, and it's a set amount, okay? So it's gonna be a minimum of $500. Now, obviously, if you invest more yourself over and above that minimum, if it's $2,000 or $3,000 or more that you wanna buy right off the bat, Obviously, this uh, analogy or this example is not going to apply to what you're going to do. So if you want to get just the minimum to get started, which I recommend you do, because that's going to give you an opportunity to test the waters and to see if this is something that's profitable for you. Okay. And of course, as successful as this can become is solely based upon how much work you're going to willing to put into this and how, uh, how much uh, hard work and how much focus, as well as how much time you're going to be able to dedicate to, do, to doing this. Okay. All right. So number one. If you have a minimum of $500, right off the top, that's $500 for the minimum order amount, okay? The next thing up is your website. Now, you can either sell this product in several ways. 
right here. I'll go over that. If you set up a website, so you know, it's between about $39 to $40 or so a month, okay? So right off the bat, if you want to create your own website, there's plenty of ways to do that very simplistically using either Weebly um, and or Shopify. And I'll put also some links in the description so you guys, if you're not familiar with those links, check those links out. We'll explain to you what uh, I'm talking about. Many of these website um, softwares and applications are very easy to use, so you can build your own, okay? So you've got your minimum order of $500. You've got your website of around $40, okay, a month, a month, by the way. Now, to incorporate yourself, I reckon, like I mentioned in the beginning, I recommend you do this because you don't want to do this as just a person who wants to sell, resell beef jerky that's being manufactured. You want to have a company. You want to have a brand. You want to have it self-incorporated. So legally, you can protect yourself as well, okay? Incorporation costs between about two to $300. And of course, don't quote me on that exactly because in some states, it's actually less. Some states it might be slightly more. So the ballpark is around two to 300 bucks. Now, two online places to sell before you make a website I would recommend is eBay and Etsy. Why? Because on eBay, it already has millions of customers built into the site. Now, if you're looking to sell jerky, uh, meat jerkies or snacks or even food items, eBay is a fantastic place to do this because they've already got millions of customers built in. Once you create a listing and somebody goes to the search box and types in uh, beef jerky or turkey jerky or whatever the type of snack they want, it pulls up all of the listings related to that search, which would be obviously what you're doing is a meat jerky business. So you can create a store very inexpensively at around $25 a month. Okay, They have different, different types, different tiers uh, for business or personal seller or private sellers, that type of thing. So around $25 to $30 a month, you can get a store up and running and start listing your jerky, okay? The next one up is Etsy. When you create an Etsy listing, it is one of the cheapest and inexpensive ways to sell anything, uh, from my own experience, online. 20 cents, and I believe it's for four months. So your listing stays there for four months, and it can renew at just 20 cents. Next up, insurance. Even though you're having a co-packer or private label company produce the product for you, I highly recommend you still get liability insurance, uh, business insurance, small business insurance for your jerky business. That's normally going to run you around 500 roughly a year. Most places, most insurance companies that sell insurance, like um, even Geico, believe it or not, Allstate Insurance, um, all of these companies have business policies, and they can even write food business policies as well. Um, check out which one you'd like to obviously look into. Um, that maybe work better for you, but you can get those payments broke up over the month. So around forty to forty-five dollars a month, not five hundred up front. Some of them do, but most all of them for small businesses you can pay it monthly, so you don't have to put out that much money up front. So that gets you your insurance. Now you're probably thinking, well, Damien, if you have a private label co-packer company make a jerky for me, how how would I get a logo or how do I have a design or how do I keep a brand? Really interesting. I did a, quite a bit of research on this and I found out that the majority of these private label co-packing meat jerky businesses offer pre-made labels with different designs on them only needing your name or your product name or business name on it. So you don't have to come up with some logo or graphic that you have to invest money in. They have pre-made, actually some of them are really cool to be honest with you, very cool looking, uh, labels that they go on the bag. So that's going to allow you the opportunity to simply just access their pre-existing logos and from there you don't have to put money out for a logo or have a graphic designer create one for you. So $500 minimum, you've got $39 for your website if you want to create your website. About $200 <coughs> or $200 or so to incorporate yourself. And yeah, about $25 for the upfront for the monthly fee for eBay if you want to start selling on eBay. A $45 monthly amount for the insurance and your and your logo if they don't have one and you want to create one you can get one on Fiverr Fiverr you can get a really fantastic logo for even more for 15 to 20 dollars and Fiverr is a, is a great place to get it contracted out to have somebody do it for you so you're up to 828 dollars that's actually less than a thousand dollars including all of the minimums that you would need to create this to get it started if you wanted to invest more into it obviously you could but if you're looking to create a food business, this can literally get generated and started for less than $2,000. Now, I'm going to go over several different places where you can sell this aside from being online. 
Okay, so now let me get into some of the other avenues that you can start selling your jerky. So let me tell you another really quick tip as well. Once these co-packers produce the product, you tell them where you want it to be shipped. Now, there's a reason why I say that. Number one, you can actually team up with a food distributor. Food distributors are those huge, gigantic companies, warehouses, that will actually bring on board um, hundreds and hundreds of food products, and then they distribute it to retail stores, grocery stores, uh, cafes, delis, wherever it may be that they're going to sell it. But you can actually get them to bring your product on board. When you start this process, you want to get a couple sample bags from your co-packer. Take that sample bag and send it into a food distributor and say, look, my name is Damien's Jerky Company. I just started a brand new jerky company. Here's our product. Taste it. Let me know what you think. Then once they say, you know what, we love it, let's get uh, five or six cases. You can then get your private labeler or co-packer to produce those cases, ship them directly to your food distributor, and you don't have to be making anything. Nada zilch. And that is a way to get it into a food distributor's hands. And from there, they will sell it to wholesalers, retailers, wherever it may be, grocery stores or cafes, as I mentioned. Next one up is a food broker. Now, the only thing about a food broker is some of them, not all of them, some of them work on an advance where you have to pay them up front to represent your product. Now, you can get smaller family-run food broker businesses that just started up, and those food brokers normally don't ask for an advance up front. They'll push your product and try to get it into retailer buyers' hands, and then from there, you get your food private label, your meat jerky private company label to ship the product over to that uh, retailer or that grocery chain. Uh, and the food broker hooks you up and brings you the buyer from those supermarket chains. So they're the middleman between you and a retailer or, or if it's a wholesale club because they know how, to, how the business works and they know how to be salespeople because maybe you don't. Maybe you're just not a salesperson and that's fine. That's why they come in and they can help you get your product into retailers. When you have it produced by your co-packer, you can say, look, I need you to ship cases X, Y, Z to this warehouse, that warehouse, and this warehouse. They're going to be distributing for you. Again, you're not having to make any other. Direct to retailer. Now, you yourself, if you are, you're confident enough to do it, you can call up local retailers and you can generate a buzz locally. It doesn't have to be a national chain, but locally in some grocery stores in your area. Once you have someone give you a purchase order, once you have a buyer from a grocery store give you a purchase order, or they're showing interest, your co-packer can actually produce it and then ship it again to uh, Damien's grocery chain in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, or something like that. So you can literally get your product in a retail store and again, have your co-packer ship it directly to the retailer and you make the profit. Again, you're not having to make any of this. <laughs> All right, the next big one is actually FBA by Amazon. So as you may or may not know, uh, fulfillment by Amazon is when Amazon allows you to ship a product to Amazon's warehouse. You create a listing on Amazon and they fulfill the order. This is a great, great way to start a jerky business and it's a great way to sell product to millions of people, literally, uh, by using FBA, okay? And what you could literally do is, once you've manufactured and you've got your product up and running, uh, your co-packer can then, again, ship that for you on your behalf directly to Amazon FBA to their warehouses and have them do the fulfillment by Amazon for your on your behalf and again you're not making any of this eBay and Etsy as we discussed earlier that would be something that that you would do the fulfillment on your end so if you created the store um, unless you're using Amazon FBA or another fulfillment center you can actually get your product into your warehouse or wherever you are in your commercial facility and then you fill the orders as eBay buys it, eBay sell it, buyers buy a product from you, Etsy buyers buy a product from you, you can ship it out that way. Now you can actually use FBA by Amazon. They are just a fulfillment center. So once you sell a product on Etsy or eBay, you just tell Amazon, hey, I have John Smith who bought it on eBay, please ship the product to them and they'll do it for you. Okay, of course there's fees involved with that, but it's still a way that you can sell. And then lastly, your own website. I do recommend you definitely have a website, but I wouldn't rely that much on sales because it's very challenging to get traffic to your own website, okay? But once you get up and running, though, with Amazon or some of these other, other businesses or other avenues, your own website, you will begin to sell because customers will want to know more about your product, and they're going to go to your website, and they're going to want to buy, okay? So in a nutshell, that is a very simple way that you can actually get a jerky business up and running. You do not produce any of it. And in most cases from here, you don't even necessarily have to sell it or do the fulfillment of it. 
you have a lot of different avenues and choices to get your product out there with you out ha not having to do much of anything, okay? So that's one of the really cool things about creating a private label or having a co-packing company make your product for you. And again, check out the list that I put together. It is 80 plus companies. Go through it, call, call as many as you possibly can, see who is the right fit for you because they're all different. Um, and then there's 20 questions on there as well to help you get the ball rolling with some ideas on figuring out what is gonna be working for you. How do I get this up and running? And you can do it for less than $2,000. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you guys like this video, as always, do give me a big thumbs up. And if you had questions about this process, let me know down below, and I'll see you guys on the next video.